Here we go again. All right, Margaret, thank you so much. And now to our coronavirus coverage and tonight local hospitals are warning patients that wait times could go up as the country deals with a critical nursing shortage. This is not a new problem, but you know, healthcare workers say any increase in COVID cases, it makes it harder to do their jobs. WDSU's Morgan Lent is live in Uptown to explain why that's the case. Morgan. Yeah, so Sola, most hospital employees will tell you they would like to have more nurses on staff any day of the week. Now, during a global pandemic and with virus variants spreading, that need is even greater. As you can imagine, this is a valuable resource, whether you're having a pandemic or not. Pat Rosenberg is speaking from personal experience as the chief nursing officer at Toro. It's been a love affair ever since then. She knows what can happen when there aren't enough nurses on staff. My boss always laughs when I describe it this way, but I'm a nurse, um, so it constipates the system. And right now, she says the country is experiencing a severe shortage. And there is no state in this country that is not feeling what we're feeling. You improvise. Uh, we, we see a lot of patients and a lot where we could use a lot more nurses. It's an issue at West Jefferson Medical Center, too, where wait times are up because there are fewer nurses to treat more patients. Many hospitals in New Orleans are accepting transfers from other areas where COVID cases are on the rise. A lot of people, even if they have to wait, understand. So the race is on to hire existing nurses and train new ones. LCMC has partnered with Chamberlain University to fund scholarships for students working toward their BSN. Trey Plaisant says the pandemic proved that the work is not easy, but desperately needed. If you're meant for it, you know it. It's not something that you go into nursing for any other reason. And I'm told LCMC has put $14 million into its Call to Care initiative. To find out how you can apply for that program, just go to WDSU.com. Live outside Toro, I'm Morgan Lentis, WDSU News.